we're going to BC tomorrow. Journey and I booked a spontaneous trip to BC. Um, actually, it wasn't that spontaneous. We've always wanted to go for probably a couple of years now. We've wanted to go out west. Um, but back in the summer, because of COVID, flights were so cheap. So we snagged a really good deal and we're going away this weekend. Um, we kind of forgot about it because of all of the renovations and moving and everything. So we honestly haven't prepared at all for the trip. It's literally like past 10 p.m. on the night before and we haven't packed a single thing. So I'm just going to do that now. We're not taking any checked luggage. We're just sharing a carry-on bag and two personal like backpacks. So it's not even going to be that much stuff to pack. But yeah, we're really excited to go. I'm going to take some footage along the trip. We're going to Whistler for a night and then we're renting a car um, to drive up like the Sea to Sky Highway. And then we're dropping it off downtown Vancouver and we're gonna be staying in Gastown District. So we both have never been, but we're really excited to go and spend some quality time together. We run out of paper and change, but tell me if I'm starting to we made it to British Columbia. We landed in Abbotsford this morning after a flight on Swoop Airlines. It actually was a good flight. Um, we had a good experience for sure, but we're really um, sore from just sitting all day. We um, grabbed our rental car when we landed and then we've been driving along the Sea to Sky Highway. I have to show you the beautiful mountains. I feel like a cowgirl wearing this hat and jacket with the mountains in the background. It's so pretty. I've just been like staring at the window the whole drive just because like Ontario has the complete opposite landscape of here and it's so beautiful. That's our rental car in the back. We had to get a van because that was the only vehicle left with snow tires, which you wouldn't think that you would need um, like this time of year in mid-October, but um, everyone who was like living around here it messaged me and they said that you definitely need snow tires this time of year driving up to Whistler. That's where we're headed. Our first b and is in Whistler. We're staying there for one night and I was kind of thinking like do we actually need snow tires, but when we're driving along the highway we kept seeing signs saying that they're required um, October 1st to end of May, so we haven't come across snow yet, but we're still like over an hour away. So we'll have to see if we see snow on our drive. Journey and I didn't get to sleep till like midnight last night because we had so many things to do before our trip, mostly due to the fact I was getting my hair done till like 9 p.m. But anyways, we um, flew with Swoop Airlines and we didn't want to pay for checked bags. So we just shared one carry-on bag and a personal bag each, which I would highly recommend if you're not going for like longer than like a week and a half because it makes the travel experience so much easier when you don't have to go through checking bags and waiting around the airport. It was really easy to carry our bags around. And we really had a good experience flying with Swoop. We weren't sure what to expect because this was our first time flying since COVID and you never know how long things are gonna take. So we gave ourselves like two and a half hours um, from when we got to the airport till our flight um, leaving, but it really only took like 20 minutes to go through everything. Um, then we were just waiting at the terminal for like two hours, but Anyways, aside from that, the flight was really good. I had a good experience. Would you say that yeah. this work re it was you'd recommend? Yeah, basic, but it was worked out really well. Yeah, the flight was pretty packed. Um, there was like, you know, the seats and the aisles were pretty narrow compared to flying like Air Canada, but I think overall it was a good experience and way more economical if you're just looking to do like a trip like we're doing. We just got to the area where our B&B is in Whistler and it's in this gated community that is insane. The houses here look like they cost like five million dollars and this mountain area is just stunning. I can't believe that like people actually live up here. Gotta show you some of these houses. Looks like they're still building a lot of homes. 
lives here, but it's crazy. Mountains right in your backyard. All of the homes look like modern kind of chalets. So we're staying in um, kind of like the guest suite in one of these homes. We kept wanting to go for walks along the drive up the mountain, but there was like hardly anywhere to stop along the way. They probably don't want people like stopping on the side of the highway to take photos. <laughs> we found somewhere to get out and do a little hike. The water is so pretty. You can see the mountains behind me and the river. It's really chilly here though. Good thing we brought some coats and hats. That looks icy cold. There you can see just a little bit of the snow up in the top of the mountains. But then it's like fall down here. So beautiful. Even though we just bought and moved into our place, I'm currently contemplating moving here. It's, just can't get over how beautiful it is. I'm just kidding, I love our home so much. This property is absolutely gorgeous. That's one of the um, other options that you can stay is this cabin. But like, can you imagine having that in your backyard? The hostess is so sweet. She even said that they could make a fire for us out here later tonight. And this is our outdoor seating area. Wait till you see inside our room. It's so cute. Like, are you kidding me? This is so cozy. And the floor to ceiling windows. I can't. It's so cute. cozy bed. We were thinking about staying in the cabin initially, but I thought it might be a bit chilly, so we're staying in here, but it's so pretty. Looks like there's a nice washroom in here. Little fridge. But it's so cozy. We're just here for um, one night and then we're driving down the highway to downtown Vancouver tomorrow. There's so many cute details and thoughtful touches here. Everything is like already warmed up. The lamps are on. It's really cozy. The room we're in is called Cabin Fever. How cute is that? There's a cozy blanket and some tea and coffee. There's a little fridge in the washroom that has some cake in there. And this washroom is so pretty too. I love the floor in here. I just wanna live here, honestly. I'm so happy to be in this room. It's so relaxing. I can't wait to sit out there and have a little fire tonight. The hostess said that they had built this home and they were here for about three years now. So I just wanna know what everyone does in this community to be able to afford these gorgeous custom homes. The bed looks so comfy. I love all of the natural colors. All the decor is really cute too. I like this gallery painting wall. Even a little fireplace. The 
but time for a little nap after all our travels this morning since we got up at like 3.30. I just can't get over this view here. So peaceful. I love the bedside tables, all the natural organic shapes and wood in here. The bedspread um, or the duvet cover is really nice too. I just asked the hostess where she got it from. It's like a linen type of material that's like a stone color. It's really pretty. I love how she's decorated in here. There's um, a group of seven painting. I love the group of seven. And the curtains are just so neutral. Everything in here is really tasteful. Tasteful and cozy. It was also the best decision ever to bring one carry-on between the both of us and each a personal bag instead of doing any checked luggage. But I can't believe we fit everything into that small suitcase. If you know me, you know I love clothes. So I'm honestly impressed with myself that I could fit all of my outfits into half of this carry-on suitcase. This is the outfit I'm gonna wear tonight. We're going on a little date um, to a restaurant in Whistler Village and then to a bar at the Four Seasons later. I just tried to pick things that were like easy to pair with other tops and bottoms. So this is um, a black silk top from Aritzia that I thrifted and some Aritzia denim that I thrifted as well. When Journey and I went to Europe for our honeymoon, we each brought a checked bag and that was a huge mistake. We were carting those around. We went to um, South France, Paris, and Amsterdam, and we had to cart those around. Um, so like, it was a nightmare. So I would highly recommend doing carry-ons if you can, because it just makes your experience so much better without having to wait for your checked luggage. And it just kind of makes the whole trip easier if you can just consolidate your clothes so that you don't have to bring so much. So I really am glad that we did that this time and we'll probably try to avoid uh, checked bags as much as possible. We're going for a little walk in the neighborhood where we're staying. It's pretty chilly. Good thing I brought a winter hat. All the conversations have died out. I'll play the music from the beginning and then we all just see it again then. just looked it up and just a plot of land in this community is like 1.3 million not to mention the house We're building a big one over there it's the next morning now we had such a good sleep. This bed was incredibly comfortable. We were actually supposed to go to a bar for drinks at Four Seasons in Whistler, but I kind of forgot about the time change and I made the reservation for 8 p.m. So we were like way too tired to go. We just actually fell asleep around 8 p.m. because of our travels. We were really tired and we had such a good sleep. We slept for a long time. And then when we woke up, we were so cozy in this bed. It's like one of the most cozy rooms I've ever been in. 
This morning it's raining a little bit and kind of gray outside, but we're all packed up to go um, back to Vancouver. And on the way, we're gonna stop at this kind of cool place that was recommended to me by a friend for a hike. And there's a cafe there that serves pie. So that sounds right up our street. This is what it looks like this morning. There's a lot of um, mist on the top of the mountains and fog, but I was just drinking coffee in here, looking out at the view and feeling so relaxed, just even looking outside the window. I'm glad I brought some clothes for the rain out here. I'm just wearing my black joggers, a black turtleneck and this puffer vest because it's so rainy out here and good thing we checked the forecast before we left because it's actually kind of raining every day we're here, which is totally fine. We're still gonna have lots of fun, but yep, all black for me today. stopped at a cafe in Squamish on the way to Vancouver. I got a chai latte and Journey got a flat white. Mm -hmm. And we're just parked drinking it in the town. This is where we're parked just to look out the at the mountains while we sip our drinks. Lighthouse Park in West Vancouver. It's raining. Journey forgot a rain jacket. The next morning now, we arrived at our Airbnb in Vancouver yesterday. It was raining a lot, so we didn't actually do the whole hike that um, at Lighthouse Point yesterday on the way home. But we got here safely, we had a good night's sleep, and I think I'm gonna end the Whistler vlog here, and I'm gonna do a separate one for when we're in Vancouver, just cause we're here for an extra four days. So I figured I would make two videos out of this trip, but thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like it and subscribe and I'll see you in my Vancouver vlog. Bye guys.